My career has been as a sideline physician at either the NFL or the NCAA level for the last 25 years plus. And through that experience, we've grown a lot in our understanding of sports injuries, particularly concussion. We understand more about the presentation and the prevention and the importance of taking the athlete out harm's way. So the use of omega-3 fatty acids, particularly DHA, became very intriguing. And the preclinical work, the laboratory experimentation showed that it did appear to have benefit and the structural aspect of DHA being the major fatty acid, the major omega fat of the brain, what it was built from in the first place, and the ability for DHA so, to also have anti-inflammatory effects were seen to be very, very advantageous. And in preclinical work in the laboratory, that was borne out, not only given after an injury, but also as a preventative or prophylactic given prior to an injury being created. For decades, we've had fluid replacement for athletes, particularly those in a hot environment. And we know that fluid replacement is important for athletic performance and to prevent dehydration. However, DHA would be considered a functional supplement, one that has additional benefits. And certainly it has many health benefits, including the cardiovascular, the lipid profile, the natural anti-inflammatory, the eye health benefits, and probably also on mood. So now we're taking it a step beyond just merely fluid and electrolyte replacement to actually giving the athlete something which affects function. So the biggest key is education. I think if you educate your athlete and talk to them about the benefits of this and their long-term health, not just today, but also long-term throughout their career, their playing career, their sport, but also their life, and give them the education on brain armor and omega-3s, uh, it's key. They, they buy in. Um, they see that we're here to take care of them long term, not just right now, but also for their, the rest of their life. And giving them a little bit of science background in it, um, that helps. We did a lot of research from the start of Dr. Julian Bale's research um, to the research that TCU did last spring on the impact DHA had on subconcussive blows to football athletes. Is this going to help us? How are we going to implement it? And what are we trying to get out of it? Um, and then between Brain Armor, Sports Medicine, and myself, um, just continually have worked out a plan going forward from a standpoint of integrating and moving forward compliance issues and also tracking to see the benefits and improvements uh, that we originally hypothesized. Omega-3s are key for, I think, brain health. And the more science we're seeing behind that, we need to know what we can do for these head injuries. Brain health, eye health, heart health, whatever it may be, we've got to start doing something. We can't just say, now you have brain injury, what do we do from here? We've got to start taking care of them.